Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. So we are going to start off this video by making a photo gallery wall in the hallway. I've been wanting to do this ever since we first started the renovations. So I'm excited to finally be doing this today. I got this photo frame set off of Amazon. I'll put a link for it down below. It's a set of nine 12 by 12 frames and it was an amazing price, has almost full five star reviews. The best price that I could find for a set of nine frames that were 12 by 12 size. So here I was just getting all of my pictures put into those frames. I was using some pictures that I already had on hand and I also went to Walmart and got some pictures printed out. This picture frame set does come with this big paper that you can put up on the wall, get it straight, put it where you want it to be, and then you can mark where all of the screws are going to go. It's got like little X's where the screws are supposed to go. This definitely did help, but it still was very hard to get everything straight and perfect. I still had to tweak some stuff even after having the screws in the exact holes that they said to. So here I'm just showing you this wall where I'm going to put the photo collage. Back when we were doing the major renovations in the house, there used to be shelves in this little cutout and a bench at the bottom. I knocked all of that out, got my tape measure and figured out where the middle of the wall was just so that I could be sure that I got the paper straight and everything. I had the level, a pen, the drill, screws, a whole bunch of different tools that I needed to have to get this photo collage wall hung up. It definitely took a long time, but it was so worth it. For the first half of this video, I'm going to be doing some decorating around the house and then the second half of this video will be cleaning motivation and some baking. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and also if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. Just click that red subscribe button down below and you can also go over and follow me on Instagram. I share everyday life updates over there. So here I am finishing up finally the last of this collage wall. This video only shows a couple of minutes of footage, but it took a lot longer than that for me to get everything straight and hung up perfectly. I was glad to have this done, but I love how it turned out. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this collage wall. I think I eventually want to add a little stool down in the right hand corner with a plant on top of it. But for now, I'm loving how this is looking. last home renovation video we painted these front doors gray and we also added a second handle on here love how it turned out and now I wanted to add this plant that's from bloomscapes and I also wanted to add a rug in front of the door I got two different rugs to try out the first one is this really skinny runner rug I just wanted to give this one a try just to see what it would look like because the boys are constantly running their trucks and stuff back the hallway through this main area so I thought a rug would kind of get in their way that's why I wanted to try out that runner but it was definitely way too small I like this one a lot better this rug size is a 3x5 this is like a natural jute rug I got it at the at-home store we had an at-home store recently open in Tucson so I've been having fun shopping through there every once in a while Thank you. 
I've been starting to collect a few things for when I decorate our master bedroom. The first thing I got is this darling sign from At Home. I thought this would be cute to put on my husband's nightstand. I also got a package of those black curtain clips from Walmart. And then I got two different gray curtains to try from Target and then some black curtain rods from Walmart. And I also have a few things for our bed from Brooklinen. I've got two new king size pillows, pillowcases, a new duvet cover, and then also this really comfy waffle knit robe. Very cozy and warm. I love it. It's going to be perfect for this winter. And Brooklinen is actually sponsoring today's video, which I'm very grateful for. Brooklinen sells luxury sheets, towels, bedding, and more without the luxury markup. Everything that I received from Brooklinen is such high quality. It feels like it's from a luxury hotel. You spend a third of your life sleeping in your bed, so you want it to be comfy. You want to have high quality sheets, comfortable bedding so that you can get a good night's rest. And Brooklinen has 35,000 five-star reviews, which is more than any other online bedding company. So that pretty much speaks for itself that their bedding is high quality and comfortable. You guys need to go and check it out. And it's a great time to order bedding from Brooklinen because they're currently having a Labor Day sale. You can currently get 15% off on their website. So go down to the description box and click my link and then use the code that will be typed up down there for 15% off. And thank you again to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to see what the curtains look like in this room up against the windows and I'm not going to hang up the curtain rods yet not until I know exactly what curtain I'm going to be hanging in here just so that I can be sure that the curtain touches the floor and everything I want to be able to take the curtain rod all the way up to the ceiling and I love the curtain rods definitely keeping those but I don't think I'm going to go with a gray curtain after bringing these gray curtains into the room, it was just too much gray. I plan on hanging just one curtain panel on each of these windows. So I'll have a curtain panel on the far side of the window and then I will have a nightstand under the window with the lamp. But I think I'm going to just have to continue curtain shopping and we'll see what else we can find. But I am keeping the curtain rods from Walmart. These were such an affordable price for a black curtain rod and they've got that really neat round design on the end. So I'm keeping those and I'll be sure and put a link for them down below. I also want to add a lot of textures to the bed, add a bunch of throw pillows and a big king quilt at the foot of the bed, a rug under the bed. Just stay tuned for the master bedroom makeover whenever I get that done. The last area that I'm going to be doing some decorating at is the shelves in my kitchen. I have a couple of new items from at home that I'm going to see if I can put up here. And then I also got out my box of fall decor I wasn't planning on decorating for fall. I was just going to skip it this year and wait and decorate for Christmas, but I decided to get out some of my fall decorations and just maybe add a few pumpkins to the shelf in the kitchen. Okay, so now the rest of the video is going to be cleaning motivation. I filmed this cleaning about a week before I did the decorating and I thought I would just add it on to the end of this video for those of you who enjoy the cleaning motivation. My kitchen was definitely the messiest room in the house. I had been really busy with YouTube stuff for like two days and I didn't do dishes or anything so they just stacked up in the kitchen. I was going to take care of all of that today, get the kitchen completely clean, get the dishes washed. 
So I hope that you guys enjoy and that this can give you lots of cleaning motivation. When I'm cleaning my kitchen, I just sort of work my way towards the sink area, clearing off the countertops, putting stuff away, and then I end up with all of the dishes stacked by the sink, and then I will put the ones in the dishwasher that need to go in there, and then wash all of the ones by hand that I have to wash by hand, and there was so many dishes. It doesn't really look like it in this video. You guys will see when I'm done washing dishes just how many are stacked up there to dry, but it was a lot. I was standing here for a while just washing dishes. Here I was getting some essential oil diffusing in the kitchen. I have actually started trying out Young Living essential oil. If you've ever tried out their oil, let me know down in the comments or if you've ever wanted to try out their oil before. So far, I have been loving it so much. And there I was showing you everything that I got with my starter kit. Love the diffuser that came with it. If you guys are wanting to try Young Living and you wanna sign up with me, I will have that info down below. I don't have a website set up yet or anything. I'm going to work on this laundry room and then get a load of laundry started this laundry room was a mess shoes everywhere a garbage bag and if you guys could have seen this floor in real life there was dog food scattered everywhere and dirt and yeah the floor was just filthy because this is where everybody comes in from outside so dirt gets tracked in and stuff so this needed a good vacuum and then mopped
So yesterday was actually a really exciting day. We got all of our new furniture for the living room delivered. It's currently stacked in boxes out on the porch. And then last night we sold both of these couches. They sold within just a couple of hours of me listing them. So that was awesome. As of this morning, this room is just one giant open room with a rug in the middle of it. And I cannot wait to get it all set up and decorated. So stay tuned. I'm hoping for that video to go up next week on Friday, but that might be wishful thinking. We'll see how quickly I can get this all done. About once a week, I like to put this attachment on the vacuum and vacuum underneath the front of the stove and the fridge and the dishwasher just helps to keep those crumbs under control because I can't get underneath there like I could with a broom when I'm vacuuming. And then after that, I just spot clean the floor. My spray mop actually broke, so I need to order another one of those. So I just have this mop with a little spray bottle of cleaner. took a little break from the cleaning to make some cookies. The boys were wanting cookies, so I was going to whip some up, but I realized that I didn't have any butter. So I looked up online, found a snickerdoodle cookie recipe that didn't require butter, so I gave that a try, and it actually turned out really good considering that it didn't have any butter in it. So I will be sure and link it down below if I can find it. I forgot to save it, but I'll go back and try to find it on my phone. The last thing on my list to clean today was the boys' bathroom and their bedroom, so I tidied up their floor first. That basket is what I keep all the dirty clothes in, so I took that to the washer. And I also wanted to clean their white rug because it was dirty, and I have a white rug in a boys' bathroom because white rugs are actually really easy to clean because you can just throw them in the washer with some bleach. And then I tidied off the countertop, wiped that down, and wiped out the sink. If you guys haven't seen the makeover video that we did of this bathroom, be sure that you go and watch that because it was a huge transformation. This bathroom used to be orange and red, so definitely go back and watch that video. Okay, so now we're tidying up the boys' bedroom. This had gotten a little bit crazy, so once we got it cleaned up, I went through their toys and got rid of some stuff, packed some stuff away up in the closet. When the boys are starting to have trouble keeping their room clean and it just seems like it's messy all the time, I know it's time to go through their toys again and get rid of some stuff. And it looks like basically Kyle was the only one helping me because Owen got a little sidetracked by some books.
Now that their room is clean, I'm going to go through their play closet and just pack some toys away, put some in a bag to donate, and just try to get it a little bit better organized because if I keep this toy closet organized at least once a week, then it's a lot easier for them to keep it picked up all throughout the week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this decorating and cleaning video, that it gave you motivation, and that you enjoyed getting to see me decorate a few more spaces in the house. Stay tuned because like I said, I'm going to be decorating the living room next and that's going to be a really fun video. In that video, I'll take you guys through the whole process starting back when we first got the keys to the house. So I'll kind of do the video just like I did the boys' bedroom and the bathrooms, different areas like that. So be sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out. And thank you again to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video and thank you guys for watching. Bye.